Hello, Michael Brown here. I want to talk today about using the iPhone to make 3D lenticular pictures. There's actually a pretty simple workflow and it involves using the phone and software called Triaxis 3D Master Kit. The Master Kit software will let you take a image from the phone and its corresponding depth map and generate a series of frames that you can use to make the lenticular print. So the iPhone, in this case my iPhone 13 Pro, like many of the newer smartphones, can create depth maps. In the iPhone you do it via the portrait mode. So as an example, I'm going to take my phone and I will uh, point it right here. I'll slide over and put it in the portrait mode. And when you see that yellow box appear, it says natural light and it's highlighted in yellow, that means it's going to take a depth map. If you don't see that highlighted in yellow, it won't capture the depth map. So I can just press the button and the phone has captured both a picture and a depth map sequence. Now, if you want, because the iPhone doesn't always capture a depth map, there's other software available. So if I come over here and use this app called Depth Cam, Depth Cam actually has a mode where you can see the depth map in the lower left corner that it's capturing. And so you can take a picture, get that depth map, and then, you know, here on screen you can see the picture and the depth map. In this case it has uh, white represents the background and black the foreground. I like to standardize on just the opposite. I like white to be the foreground. And so you can go in here and you can change palettes so here we go. So here now white is forward and black is backward. And those can be exported. So I can uh, save that right to the camera roll. I can save the photo separately. I can save the depth map separately. I can even make a Facebook 3D photo. So if you're not using an app like this, then the other approach is to open your iPhone photos uh, either in Photoshop, which will open the HEIC format files, the high efficiency compression files, or if you have your phone set up to shoot JPEGs, you can use online website called PhotoP and you can open those JPEGs and it will separate out the depth map from the color image. So that's two ways of taking uh, depth map pictures and getting the uh, image and depth map separated. So now when we have those images we want to uh, create a series of frames that we can use in lenticular printing. And what I'm going to do is launch software called 3D Master Kit. And I'm running on a Macintosh. And I use a software program called Parallels which uh, allows me to run Windows software. Parallels is a Windows emulator. So here we go. Here's the 3D Master Kit interface. I'm going to come over and use the Layers menu and select Add to add a picture. And on my desktop I actually have the color image from the iPhone and I'm going to open that. And now it's over here on the right. I'm going to actually select that. 3D Master Kit allows you to uh, layer individual files to make 3D images. Uh, I'm going to use it a little bit differently today for this program. So I'm actually going to take this picture and put it at the zero point where there's no depth to the image and I'm going to take and load in its associated depth map. So I come over here, click on load depth map and open. And now the image and the depth map are both loaded into the software program. There's an icon on the upper right that allows you to generate multiple frames. I'll click that, a dialog box appears, and it's automatically set up to generate 24 frames. If we want a differing amount, you can input that. So you typically put in the number of frames you want and what uh, LPI pitch you're using, you know, 20, 40, 50, 60, 75, 100 LPI, whatever it is. In this case, I'm using 60, and then you hit generate. And the software will do its magic, and it'll actually take the color image and the depth map and come up with 24 different frames representing different parallax points. 
there's a green progress bar at the bottom of the screen. You can follow along its progress. So now a window appears on top with all 24 frames. Now there's a mode here where we can animate those frames. And that gives you a simulation of the different parallax as though the final print was rocking back and forth. And this looks very good, very little tearing. Uh, it's really a nice subject that lends itself to this technique. Now I've tried this technique with a whole host of pictures and I've had really very good results. Uh, some scenes obviously work better than others. If you had something with a lot of, I don't know, branches on a tree, uh, that would be very difficult. But if you had a picture of a person in a room, something simple like this scene, uh, scene everything works very well. So let's stop that animation. And now let's interlace these files so we can make a print. We use the lenticular tab. I have this currently set up to make a 6 inch by 8 inch print at 720 pixels per inch. I have the pitch set up at 60.1, which is the pitch for my print size and my viewing distance. You can go to this layout button and actually uh, print a board around the picture. So this would print the picture with no registration border, which would be very difficult to work with. Here you can add a registration border, and they have one set up specifically for the 3D mode. Um, currently, I have this set up. If I hit fit registration within the picture, it'll make that 6 by 8 inch picture, but it will put the registration mark inside the picture, so your total image is 6 by 8 inches, but I like to print that on the outside of my picture. So I have that all set up. I hit save and then click to file. So now we'll generate this to a file and it's given it a name of 01 lenticular 60.1 LPI 720 PPI 6.41 by 8.41 inches underscore V for vertical. It will save that as either a bitmap file, a Photoshop file, or a TIFF file. I'll just save it in the Photoshop format and hit save. Now there's already a file like that on my desktop because I had done this before. We'll hit yes to overwrite the existing file. And now it will encode the image. This is generally a two to three minute process to create the interlaced file. Okay, it's all done. I'm going to launch Adobe Photoshop and we'll take a look at the interlaced file. So here we go. Here's the interlaced file on screen. We can zoom in and go up. And on the perimeter, you can see the registration marks I was talking about. So there you go, a very quick and simple way to use your iPhone to capture a picture with a depth map and then to make a 3D lenticular print. I hope you enjoyed this short tutorial. Thank you.